Hey everyone, so this is just the supplies video for the tutorials that I'm going to be doing today. Uh, I would like for you to check out the supplies, but you don't have to watch them. It turned out to be a five minute long part of the video. It was just me showing the supplies. So I decided to make it its own video, that way you can go to the actual video of the tutorial and watch what you're probably actually interested in. What's up Markerheads, it's Karen from Art by Karen E. Haley and today I'm bringing you the coloring transparent materials such as water or glass and uh, that's the tutorial that was voted for in the poll that I had in June in celebration of reaching 10,000 subscribers which is so cool, I'm still really excited about that and uh, I'm really happy to bring to you this tutorial. Here we are with the supplies here. I've got a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm going to start with the paper. The paper is regular cardstock from a local office supply store. I believe I went to Staples to get this. And this is the paper I normally draw on anyway, because it works just fine for me. It's acid-free and archival quality. Uh, here are my pencils. I have a regular pencil, and I have a non-photo blue, which I may or may not use, depending on my mood. Uh, it just draws with a blue line instead of a gray line. Here are my erasers. I have a kneaded eraser, which you can probably recognize because it's all squashed. <laughs> um, I love kneaded erasers, they're fun to play with. But anyway, so this is a Pentel high polymer white eraser. I recommend that everyone gets this eraser because they work really nicely and you get them in like a pack of three at Target for really cheap, so they're great. White acrylic paint. Uh, which is what I use for the highlights. For my outlines, these are the things that I'm going to personally use. You could use black ink, you could use regular pencil, you could use whatever. I used to use black ink, but I've moved to color lines lately, and it's just something that I think I like, I like the look of more. So I like to use Prismacolor Verithins or Stedler Triplus Fine Liners, and that's what these are here. These are colored ink pens that are COVID proof. So if you're going to try this with colored ink pens, I do recommend finding one that is COVID proof. Here's an example of some things that I outlined with the bare thins. And here's an example of one that I inked with the uh, Triplus fine liners. So the Triplus fine liners, in my opinion, I think looks a little bit nicer, but this one I had mistakes and so I was able to erase because I was able to draw with these very lightly. They don't put down a whole lot of pigment because they're rather hard. They're almost like an HB in the colored pencil world. So if you know what an HB pencil is, they draw with a very light line. So it's very similar, but I think I like the effect of these more. And a lot of that has to do with how they almost give a Copic marker effect, but with a very fine point. So I would not be able to make this look um, like this with a Copic marker. You see how here I tried to I tried to indicate the spiral from the jar with the tip of this marker here. And because the the um, brush pen is so fiddly, it doesn't really look that nice. But with the Triplus fine liners, I did the same thing here with these two pens and just kind of blended them together, and it looks a lot like Copic marker, but it's not uh, all weird and scribbly and stuff. It actually looks smooth. So personally, I would recommend the Triplus Fine Liners unless you want to ink yours in black. It's up to you. Here we go, we've got the markers, and I have mine lined up in the gradients that I would use. I have the colors that I plan on using in my backgrounds, and, um, I just have the very darkest, then a couple of mid-tones, a couple of really light colors, and then the blender. So my darkest pencil or marker, my mid-tones, my lightest colors, and then the blender. Well, before I get started here, I'm just going to show you all of the sketches and practicing that I did. Yes, I consider this practice because there's some mistakes in it. It's one of the things about not really looking at reference before doing things. These ones I did look at reference. This one I did not. Practice is really important, and I just wanted to show you guys really quick that you can practice, 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 it'll make you a lot better, and uh, really help you to learn, so go ahead and watch this a few times, check out all of the references that I've got, I've got a whole library of references that I took, 
practice, use references, it'll help you a whole lot. So. Alright, thank you so much for watching this supplies video. I hope that you uh, are interested in checking out the actual tutorial, which you can find in the link here on this end slate or in the description below. Uh, I have two tutorials. Uh, one is for just the glass jar with the water in it, and one is for water that is pouring out of a hose. Uh, whichever one strikes your fancy. I hope that you check them out because I put a lot of work into them and I uh, really wanted to make them good quality videos, so hopefully that shines through. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you.